There's no excuse not to wear a seatbelt. But this driver isn't. Nor yeah, is this yeah. one. We've got another or this one. You, over. Although she is now. Every fatality on the roads costs, on average, 1.8 million to the tax taxpayer. And not only that, we've had accidents where people being ejected from vehicles and then members of the public try and do the good thing, assist them with first aid. Um, and sometimes those people are no longer with us. However, the public still have to keep those memories, which they find very difficult. We joined PC Fawn as he followed this driver, his seatbelt clearly visible, hanging down by the side of him. This driver's where he hasn't got one. I don't think he's doing local deliveries because he's gone more than uh, 50 metres. So um, we'll give him a tug. Is he quite representative of people in that type of vehicle? Um, it's hard to say. A lot of van drivers now are wearing them, so I think the No Excuse campaign is starting to bite. So there he is, seatbelt on. So I'll um, go and have a chat. Afternoon driver. You know why I stopped you? I'm not wearing your seatbelt. We'll just pull that on as I stopped you. Don't step out of the car. Or the vehicle will explain the procedure to you. Can you tell me why you weren't wearing your seatbelt? No. No. Because I followed you for a good three quarters of a mile down the spur road. You turned off on the slip road, and I followed you all the way up here without it on. Okay. It's clearly obvious in a, a transit van where you've got a glazed panel behind the driver's seat. And as soon as the blue lights went on the siren, the old belt went on. Okay, so I guess I should remember in future every time. However, in the few hours we were in the unmarked car, the vast majority of local drivers were wearing their seatbelts. So why is it that a third of people dying on our roads are not wearing one? Simple, because if you don't belt up, you're more likely to become a statistic. It's obvious. So how do people feel when caught uh, without one? It's stupid, really. <laughs> but I normally don't go anywhere without a seatbelt on anyway, you know. So. Uh, well, it's fair enough. I just forgot to put my seatbelt on. I've only travelled 50 yards from there, um, and I was putting it on just as I got stopped. I feel it's fair enough. I well, obviously wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so that's what the police are here to do. Well, quite simply, I had things on my mind, wanted to get home from work, and I just I, I didn't, didn't put it on, as simple as that. Yeah, I do understand why people wear them, just, I guess it wasn't cool thing. This is an American Insurance Institute for Highway Safety crash test, showing what happens when you don't wear a seatbelt. Add a seatbelt and airbag, however. A fatal crash cost the taxpayer millions of pounds. An even higher psychological price is paid by the people who comfort victims while they die. It's estimated 50,000 lives have been saved since seatbelts became law in the early 80s. So it's amazing that some drivers still can't see why these simple bags and belts are often the difference between life and death. Adrian Butterworth, Dorset Police, Bournemouth.